All right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here in the Freedom Office. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. It's been a couple days since I've done a video or two or three uh, talking about what's going on in the world these days. We're getting ready to start that back up. We had an interesting event. Uh, we had a little celebration for New Year's Eve at our house. And uh, roughly about after everybody was heading home, my wife was stepping down from the kitchen into our great room and I guess, I don't know if she stepped wrong or whatever, but she broke her tibia, snapped it, went straight to the ground. Next thing I know, man, we've got the uh, ambulances showing up and we spent all night long in the emergency room and then had surgery the next day and I just brought her home. So I will most likely be working from home this week or taking some time off, whatever they uh, you know say I can, I'm allowed to do. Well, anyway, uh, it's going to make for some good time sitting back watching the election down there in Georgia. And I'm not going to get into a whole bunch of things, but I will tell you this. I did order, and this is off subject, I did order this guy right here. This is a 16-inch uh, that Hitman Industries. Now, I ordered this uh, off their website, paid for it and everything, but when it showed up, guys, I've never seen a rifle barrel that was packed up so nicely. And man, they sent me some Hitman Industries uh, stickers. Uh, this is one of the clear stickers you can put on your window. And then I got two t-shirts out of the deal. Now, I use my own personal name. So I don't know if this is something they use, but check this out, man. Yeah, Hitman. And then a really cool t-shirt like this. So it's going to be interesting. And I've got the uh, Teslong bore scope. We're going to go ahead and scope it out and then put, put it together with an upper receiver set, a uh, handguard and uh, take it out hopefully in the upcoming month to uh, check it out and shoot it. So anyway, what are we here to talk about? Well, we've got a couple of interesting things that are getting ready to happen. We have the election down there in Atlanta. We've got the situation where the senators are gathering together to object to the Electoral College. I think that's all great and it's probably in vain because uh, the way things are, they've set it up. They're gonna do what they wanna do. Not a whole lot of things we can do, but there is a big demonstration uh, up there in D.C. on the 6th about the vote. Guys, it's in, of my opinion, this is just my opinion, based on what information I have seen in the past about this election, and that I think it was wholeheartedly stolen by several states that knew exactly what they had to do in an effort to make the election go in a different direction than it should have been. They had the votes, they had the ballots, they had more ballots than there were actual voters in the state. And I'm talking about Pennsylvania. And the thing that scares the shit out of me is that you have the thing down there in Georgia talking of, you know, you've got Stacey Abrams and you know they've got a busload of uh, ballots ready to go. Three million people have already voted on this thing. And if Georgia goes blue on a state level, that's going to say something. What comes next? What comes next is this idea that the Democrats going, oh, it's nice now that we can sit around and we can heal. We can go through the healing process, which is absolute bullshit because they had no intention of ever playing nice when it was their turn to be the underdog. Now it's going to be our turn. And a civil war, this is those things where they were sitting there going, we're going to have a civil war if you don't start doing what we say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? A civil war you may have whether you like it or not. So as shit's about to get real this week, and we're going to find out exactly where we're going in the future of this country. But the problem is these leftists, and I'm not talking about all the Democrats because there's some Democrats that are actually pretty cool. I have a couple of them, or one or two of them that are for my friends. But these guys on the far left, they want to rock this world and take and move this country in such an extreme direction that we have to say no. We have to put our foot down one way or another. And that's why I'm saying this is going to be interesting to see what happens in the upcoming weeks. Uh, I'm going to be pretty busy, but uh, we're going to do what we can to uh, give up some information. Now, we are going to continue with the reviews and things of that nature. Uh, I've got a couple optics that we're going to be doing. I'm not going to be able to shoot this week, but hopefully on the following week, we'll be able to get out there and do some fun if they don't have too much snow. Anyway, with that being said, guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below about what's going to happen in the upcoming week. I don't think what Ted Cruz is going to do right now is going to phase anyone or anything. I think, yeah, I think it's good that they're doing that. It is voicing an opinion, and they are exercising their constitutional right as senators and congressmen. 
but it's it's going to be wild to see what the hell happens. So this is historic. I would say keep an eye on it with all ears and eyes and uh, see what happens. Well, that's it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Guys, we always leave them like this. Wish me luck with my wife, if you don't mind. We're set on the insurance deal. We've got everything taken care of as far as that's concerned. So financially, we're fine. Uh, but I will tell you this. Your hopes and prayers for me to cope with a woman who is very strong-minded. And yeah, she is completely on a walker, and I'm just having to serve her <laughs> hand and foot right now. And um, well, hopefully that doesn't last more than a couple of days, but we'll see. But anyway... God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. God, I'm out of practice. We need to get back at it, don't we? So anyway, this, I can't wait to scope this thing out. I'm getting ready to run the scope through it right now just to get a glimpse on it. But this is a really nice barrel. Um, Hitman Industries down in Melbourne. Not Melbourne, but they're down in Florida. Good guys. Thanks, Justin. Not that I've actually bought this one, but we got the 6.5 Creedmoor build that I'm going to put together this week. Hopefully get that. I actually got a bunch of 6.5 Creedmoor ammo, which is one of the reasons why we're going to do that. I've got the uh, Econ build series uh, and the Premium build series, and we're doing a new build with the 14.5-inch uh, FM barrel because I got the Mark 13 or Mark 14 handguard in from Geisley. All right, but that... Long-winded. Y'all have a great day. Happy New Year, and uh, Godspeed. And I think we're getting ready to hit the hit the shit is getting ready to hit the fan here very soon. So go to one thirty-two. I'm out. Y'all be good.